Welcome inside the Ron Edison Arena. It is the Airdrie Thunder taking on the Pinocchio Stan Peters. Airdrie, winners of four straight, trying to keep that going. Jeff Drott will make his season debut. Certainly, uh, the record is not a reflection of the play of uh, Robert Michetti. Uh, maybe just a shakeup. Jackson Little, though, he will get back in between the pipes for the first time since the opener against Three Hills. And uh, we shall see what happens next. We are underway as the Pinocchio Stampeders control the draw and turn it right over to Clay Murray. Murray uh, retreating there with Jordan Sears, taking it away, comes in over the line far side. And now Murray on the backtrack, takes away. Here's Braden Dunn. Dunn in the thunder. Continue to roll one for a straight since dropping, dropping the opener. Here now is Jordan McConnell. McConnell in behind the goal. Right up front. Save drop. Save by Drott again on the rebound. Murray, another stop by Drott. Jeff Strott, Jeff Drott, a glove save. Clay Murray found a loose puck in the slot. This line is far and away the most dangerous. Here in uh, HHL 21 is the second line now out there for Airdrie. Uh, no less dangerous. Plug Crow back to the line. Spencer. Ord. Plug Crow at the line and now taken away by Kelly. Stetler will be taking on the Sylvan Lake Wranglers later on uh, this evening. So be sure to tune in for that. Straub right down into the front of the net. They score. Shea Reynolds has struck first. For the Padoka Stampeders, puts it by Jackson Little. It's one nothing Stamps. Reynolds picks it up and on. Oh, beauty shot just inside the post. He beats Jackson Little. And the Padoka Stampeders score a rather big one. However, I will say uh, opponents scoring first on the Airdrie Thunder, uh, especially in this building, it's not mattered much uh, in the past. And uh, we'll see, though, if that trend changes. Goes in deep. Kelly will rim this one back around. Taken here by Brett Lagrandier. Lagrandier turns that one over. Petrie got it back, though, up to Lagrandier. And here comes Lagrandier now. Puts this one in deep. It's going to be for Austin Ancion, the Pinocchio captain, up the far side, Kelly. Kieran Bullock in behind uh, in his own zone. We'll get it up to Kelly. And now here come the Padoka Stampeders. Kelly in offensively. Kelly pinched off there by Ord. Trying to dig that one loose as Plunk Crow, and he will. Ryland Plunk Crow through center. Starts over the line. He's got the puck. He's got a chance. Plunk Crow to the net. Couldn't beat Drott. Jacoby, he can't get this one out. Cooper Page, he can't get a shot away. Taken away by Kelly. Kelly will get this one in offensively for the Padoka Stampeders. Kelly in front. Brockerville got a shot away, but he's pestered just enough there. And getting a piece of that was Jackson Little steering it aside. Here come the Airdrie Thunder now. This is Zach Giroux near side. Poked off his stick. It will come out. Kirkland Spencer tied up. And he will get it to Cooper Page, who will get it in deep. Page knocked off the puck. Gathered here by Walker Guthrie. Guthrie, Nata, Ancion, Ancion to Jordan Jacoby. Knocked off the puck, Page got it to McDonald. McDonald, Matt Thompson, he's got a drop shot. Spencer shoots, glove save, Jeff Drott. He holds on to that. Drott's made a couple of big saves here early in his season debut. Jordan, uh, excuse me, not Jacoby, Brandon Brockerville. Real good look there to try to get the stamps up two to nothing. But a good stop turned in by Jackson Little. Draw one here by the stamp by the Airdrie Thunder. There's Wenzel. Got it down. Now Paquette to McDonald. Dubois near side point. Paquette knocked off the puck. McDonald over to the far side. Great play turned in by James Lee. But now here's Wenzel. Wenzel to McDonald. Rebound. Paquette shovels on the rebound. They score. Tristan Paquette has tied the game for the Airdrie Thunder. His first of the year, it's 1-1. Seven and a quarter into this hockey game. The catch rebound, I think that goes through him. I think that goes through the five hole of Jeff Drott. And we'll get a good look, yeah. Jeff Drott lifts the pad there for just a split second. That is enough for Tristan Paquette. To shovel that one home through it and Airdrie's tied it up. 
and uh, still throughout this entire lineup as they'll go right to the top line after scoring to tie it, try to get a quick strike here again and take the lead. Here's Clay Murray on the far side. It comes to Braden Dunn. Dunn to McConnell. McConnell on the near side. Right in front looking for Dunn. Wenzel over now to Murray. Murray knocked off the puck. It'll come to Jordan Sears. Tied up in the corner. 11.45 to go in the first period. Nate Higgins will start out for the Padoka Stampeders. Airdrie on a four-game heater. Pinoca trying to spoil that party. It would be a massive upset to be sure. Pinoca uh, themselves won their season opener in overtime against Stetler. Since then, have uh, lost three consecutive. They're 0-3, 1-0. Here come the Thunder back the other way. Airdrie for their part of their four victories. Three of them in regulation, one in overtime in Red Deer against the Vipers. Here's Murray now. Murray to Brett Campbell. Campbell in the middle of his own zone. Got up the far side to Jacob McDonald. McDonald over the line. Trying to look to the center. Cannot do so. It will go to McDonald. It's dug out here by Braden Plessens. Plessens to the near side for Brendan Scott. And Scott will start out. Now up to Ryan Harder. Harder right in the slot. Harder hit, shoots, scores! Ryan Harder, what a goal! His second of the year. And he's given the Fanoka Stampeders a 2-1 lead. Ryan Harder from Braden Scott and Brendan and Braden Classens, the two Bradens on the assist. As Harder just puts this into a soft area and wins a race to it and then snaps it low glove on Jackson Little. And Jackson Little, uh, for his part, is making his second start of the year. I mean, let's not sugarcoat it. He's, he's struggled. Uh, lost the opener to three hills, four to one. Now he's given up two goals inside of half a period of Pinoca. And neither of them, you know, highlight reels. But, uh, hey, we'll see what happens here. Is, uh, it comes in right in front. Paquetta shot. Good save there by Jeff Drott. Still lots of time left. And uh, the Airdrie Thunder have uh, made a name for themselves. The ability to outscore mistakes when they make them. And uh, we'll see if that can uh, be the case again. Only down by a goal here in the first period. Jensen shoots, save, rebound, LeGrandier couldn't get a shot away. Now Jensen, Pacro, LeGrandier in the slot. Comes down into the corner, tripped up there. Brendan Scott, that will be a Thunder penalty. So the Pinocchio Stampeders are going to get the first power play of the hockey game as Casey Straub goes over to the far side and now Scott, what a move Scott's got it, Jelaine Scott shoots it, glove saved by Little Scott took it right into the slot on a beauty move snapped it, but Little makes the save and now Ty Petrie he is going to go to the penalty box for tripping so the Airdrie Thunder got to kill one here, Zach Giroux Matt Thompson on the PK, Jordan Jacoby Caden Gatz and Kelly on the power play. They will win the draw. Here's Kelly up top, Anseon. Caden Gatz. Now it's Klesson. Klesson's one-timer near side. Kelly, great stop by George Jackson Little, and he will hold on to that. Jackson Little just trying to settle in here. Has not made a start since the first one of the year back, on, uh, back in the later stages of February, almost mid-February, actually. And uh, since then, uh, has kind of surrendered the starters net to Ryan Simpson. Simpson, of course, went out one four straight. Is the Stampeders have the puck set the full 200 on him here on this power play? Here comes Kelly. Kelly right around Ty McCary. Now right in front. Caden Gatt shoots it. It goes high and wide. And this puck will go down the ice. Gathered here by Austin Anseon. Anseon. Chase wide, Giroux up top, Kelly. Kelly knocked off the puck, Zach Giroux's got it. And Giroux at the line, puts this one in deep. Offside is Zach Giroux, 528 to go here in the first period. 2-1, Pinoca leads. 
Still a uh, second unit out there for Aaron Tro for Pinocchio. I have not seen Nate Higgins out there. Here comes Thompson. Knocked off the puck. Page now far side. Trying to get that over to Thompson. Cannot do so. Caden Gatz got it to Jordan Jacoby. And here come the Stamps the other way. But it's knocked off his stick neatly. And now here's Kirkland Spencer in for the Thunder. Spencer cuts to the middle. A one-timer to the near side. Shot got blocked off the stick of Dubois. And now here is Sears, got it up, and Sion. We are back to even strength here as the Thunder kill the penalty. Here's Spencer now to Petrie. Petrie over to the far side. Matt Thompson, Cooper Page. In offensively for the Airdrie Thunder. Sears bounces this off the wall to Ancion down low. And Ancion comes in offensively for Pinoca. He's able to get this one in deep. Jordan Wenzel up the near side. It will come for Braden Dunn. Knocked off the stick there. Knocked off the puck there. He's giving chase as Higgins. It will go up the far side though for Clay Murray. Murray taken away by Walker Guthrie. Got it to Higgins. Higgins in the middle. A good defensive job there by the Thunder to collapse and take that away. Braden Dunn will start out with speed for the Thunder. Dunn in. Dunn. What a move. Dunn shoots it. Great save, Jeff Drott. He holds on to that with 2.25 to go here in the first period. Airdrie 1, Pinocchio 2. 2.25 to go here in the first. Thunder, they handed a defeat to the Sylvan Lake Wranglers last time out to continue on the win streak. Here comes Brandon Brockerville. Brockerville right down the pipe. Brockerville far side. Save, rebound, cleared by Jackson Little. Jackson Little settling in here a little bit. Later stages of the first. Now here comes Tristan Paquette. Paquette into the middle. Brett Campbell couldn't get a shot away before he got hit, and it went wide. Now here comes Ryan Harder. He's got the go-ahead goal for Pinoca. Harder comes around his man. Harder looking to the line. He said, comes to the near side. Great save by Jackson Little. Jordan Jacoby, a one-timer upstairs. Little comes across with the glove hand. Keeps it out and keeps this a one-goal hockey game. 45 seconds to play. First period. Pinoca with a one-goal lead. Draw one cleanly by the Stamps. Sullivan Harder shoots it through traffic. Good stop by Little there, and he will keep that one out. 34 seconds to go. Top line out there for Airdrie. Dunn, McConnell, and Murray. Going to see if they can maybe get this game tied before the end of the first. As he done, uh, McConnell, excuse me, will win the draw there. Comes up to Dunn. Dunn with speed through center. Knocked off the puck. And Dunn's got it right back, though. Dunn attacks. Dunn fakes. Tries to step around Sullivan. Can't. Dunn still with it. Dunn crushed. Guthrie got it to uh, Harder. And that will do it for opening period here in Airdrie. It is 2-1 Padoka. And the Thunder have not been uh, great on starts uh, pretty much the whole year. But that has not stopped them from four victories and just one defeat. So a uh, long way to go in this one, but the start you want if you're the Pinocchio Stampeders. Ryan Harder makes it 2-1 here for Pinocchio. 2-1 Stamps through 20 here at the Ron Ebison. Shots on goal pretty even there. 9-8 in favor of the home team, the Airdrie Thunder. We are going bit, to get back underway here. Airdrie and Pinocchio. 2-1, the Stamps lead. It's going to be Braden Classic. Going to go up the near side, take it away. Now McConnell, the Dunn, Dunn shoot, save made by Gerard. Kicked it into the corner and ends up behind the net. And now back the other way. This is Higgins, the big gun for the Pinocchio Stamp. Peter stood up, but he has it right back. In comes Higgins. Higgins steps around one, tries to take it into the corner. Good job by Michael Dubois to take that one away. And now here comes Clay Murray. Murray, he will put this in deep for the Airdrie Thunder, gathered here by Braden Clessens, and Clessens will come out for the Padoka Stampeders. Clessens in over the line near side. Clessens tries to look in front. He gets it to Sears. Sears firing through traffic, got blocked. Nate Higgins to Jordan Sears. Sears, now Sailor shoots it from the slot. Good save off the blocker side shoulder of Jackson Little, and now Jacob Sailor's got the puck. Sailor 
Trying to look in front, can't find anybody. McConnell intercepts. And now Dunn out the far side for Airdrie. Comes right to Clay Murray. Great takeaway there in the defensive zone in the slot by Braden. Klessens and Klessens will get to Higgins. Higgins right back to Klessens. The Stampeders are out. Here now is Saylor. Saylor over to Kelly. Kelly lost control of that one. It'll come to the near side. Here's Jason Wenzel for the Airdrie Thunder. Four minutes gone here in the second period. Still 2-1 Pinoka. But Kirkland Spencer, he's got room into the middle. Petrie, a drive scored! Ty Petrie upstairs on a one-timer. The Thunder have tied the game. Kirkland Spencer and Jason Wenzel on the assist. And this one just gets blasted by Jeff Durant. So an early-ish, I guess, second period strike for the Airdrie Thunder has tied this game back up. It is 2-2. Ben Ord to Petrie. Petrie, Brett Legrandier. Legrandier's got the puck. Legrandier out front, taken away here by Kelly. And Kelly goes back the other way for Padoka. Kelly held up on the near side boards. It'll come to Cooper Page. Page drops off. Petrie shoots at blocker. Saved Rod. Now Petrie tied up in the corner. Austin Ancion takes a hard hit in deep. Petrie's got it again. Tied up there with Shea Reynolds on the far side. Here's now Petrie. Still tied up there with Ancion. This will come loose Guthrie. Guthrie now got this to Kieran Bullock. Bullock can't get this out. Reynolds will. And here comes Kelly. He's in the over the line. Far side for Padoka. Right in front. Kieran Bullock. He tries to snap that one home. But it's taken back the other way. Here's Matt Thompson for Airdrie. Thompson knocked off the puck. Bullock's got it. Bullock nearly turned it over, but luckily for him, stays with it. Here's Shea Reynolds. Reynolds over the line. Reynolds got a shot away, but it got blocked. And it won't get, won't even have the gas to get to the goaltender. Now Cooper Page. What a move. Page in. Page to the backhand. Toe save. Kicked it out with the left pad. Jeff Trott. Here come the Padoka Stampeders. It's Shea Reynolds. Reynolds up top, Brockerville. Shooting goes wide, far side. Kept alive here, Caden Gatz. Near side, Brockerville. Reynolds scores! Shea Reynolds, second of the game. It's 3-2 for the Padoka Stampeders. 8-0-8 time of the goal. Brandon Brockerville from Caden Gatz. Pretty passing play here. Stamps look a little bit like the Thunder on that one. Shea Reynolds has his second, and the Pinocchio Stampeders. Oh, that's a uh, that little nearly got that one too. But nonetheless, it's a huge goal. Shea Reynolds. Stampeders goal is his hockey club. Desperate, really for points of any kind, but you know they'd love three points for a regulation victory in the standings. Pinoka, been scuffling of late for sure. Here is v Jacoby, shoots a tip. Oh, what a stop by Little. Now here come the Thunder back the other way. Brett Campbell knocked off the puck, but he's got it back. He takes a bump there from James Lee. It's poked loose. It comes to Caden Gatz. Gatz now to Jacoby. He will come up the near side. Jordan Jacoby. Right in offensively for the Pinocchio Stampeders. Jacoby right out front, but knocked away here by Brett Legrandier. And Legrandier's got it, but he's unable to get this one out. Held in Jacoby right in front. Guthrie shoots it, got blocked. I think that went off the stick of Ryland Plot Crow. Here comes Ben Ord back the other way. Ord shooting. It goes up high in the air and comes right back to Jeff Drott. And Jeff Drott will hang on. Great save here, Jackson Little on a deflection. It's a tough one to make. 9-11 to go here in the second period. Jordan McConnell, 7.49 of ice time tonight. No points, however. And they think he was actually held pointless in the last one, despite it being a thunder victory. One-timer here from Ty Petrie looking for his second. Good save to come across. Jeff Drott keeps it out. 8.51 to go here, second period. It is 3-2 in favor of the visiting Padoka Stampeders. Brendan Scott on the draw here against McConnell, and Scott won it. Won it cleanly, in fact. Clay Guthrie 
He's going to get this one to Brendan Scott. Scott into the middle of Ryan Harder. Scott, he's got it back far side. He shoots it. Blocker save. And now Harder back up top. Clay Guthrie. One-timer, Scott. Good stop by Little. Came across. It was uh, way a ways out. So Little had a little bit more time than he otherwise normally would have on a one-timer. But a good job nonetheless. Got across in time. Made the save. We're going to draw deep in Thunder territory. Scott on the draw here against Jordan McConnell again. And Scott won it again. Classic. Now to Harder. Harder's got it back. Classic. And he's turned over here in the offensive zone by Pinoka. Now here's McConnell. Murray done right in the slot. Couldn't pull the trigger. Murray got it right back, but it bounces off him into the corner in Braden Clessens. He's got it out. Comes to Nate Higgins, and Higgins starts with speed through center. Higgins, he got around one. Higgins can't get a shot away. Good defensive play by Dylan Wenzel, not to allow, by, jo excuse me, Jordan, Wen Jason Wenzel. How about third time's a charm on the first name? <laughs> There's another Wenzel in the league, so uh, don't fault me too much. But now here's Jordan McConnell right in. Oh, what a stop. Knocked away from behind him by Jeff Drott. Swung away, uh, swung was arm behind him and knocked that one away from danger. Jordan McConnell, a long shift here. Here comes Tyler McCary over the line. McConnell finally goes for a change. And the Stampeders have control in their own zone. Jacob Saylor knocked off the puck. Saylor, he's got it in behind the net. He puts this up to Nate Higgins, and Higgins will fire this one over to the far side. Taken away, though, by Luke Jensen. And now here comes Tyler McCary. He starts out for Airdrie. What a move by McCary. McCary's got men into the middle. McCary caught shooting, but it got blocked. Higgins has it again for Pinoka. Higgins into the middle. Kelly. Kelly, oh, he makes one move too many at the line. Offside, might have been a 2-1, two, 2-on-1 two one for Pinoka there. There's a great effort there by Jeff Drott just to try to knock that puck away from danger. And uh, Clay, uh, Jordan McConnell sniffing. Always dangerous when he's on the ice, and so is this guy, Brett Lagrandier. Lagrandier cuts into the middle. Kirkland Spencer shoots this one from the point, and he got uh, through. Uh, but a good save. LeGrandier over to the far side. Ryland Plonk Crow. LeGrandier shooting again. Stop by draw. He will hold on to that. Just under three to play here in the second period. 2.53 to go. It is still 3 2 in favor of the Pinoka Stampeders. Pinoka trying to pull off an upset here in Airdrie. 11 8. The faceoffs do favor the Thunder, but the Pinocchio Stampeders will win that one, and now Caden Gatz comes in over the line. Gatz looking to the middle, taken away by the Thunder, and now Spencer to Brett Lagrandier. Lagrandier will come out. Lagrandier knocked off the puck neatly by Austin Ancion. Ancion retreats back into his own zone. Got it to Caden Gatz, and Gatz will start out through center, but taken right back in by Jake Jordan McDonald, who got run over by Austin Ancion, the Padoka captain. And now here come the Stampeders. Brandon Brockerville, right in. Brockerville over to the far side. One chance, two chances. Good stops by Little. Jacoby spinning and firing. It doesn't get through. Caden Gatz up top, Jacoby. Jacoby. Spinning it back, it's going to be Dakota Sullivan. Sullivan shoots it through traffic. Blocked, went into the corner. Sullivan, Brockerville, Jacoby shoots it. That gets stopped. Penalty upcoming, it will go to Airdrie. Here's Brockerville. Brockerville trying to send that over to the near side. Finally, the whistle goes. Crowd absolutely livid with this penalty call. It goes to Tristan Paquette. Yeah, yikes. Not a great penalty call. Yeah, you're kind of right to be angry at that one, but uh, that's okay. We'll go to a Pinoka power play. Higgins wins the draw cleanly. Kieran Bullock through traffic. Got blocked. Higgins right out front. One last chance before the period ends. They don't get it. We will go to the third with a one-goal Stampeder lead, and they will start on the power play with plenty of time. The Airdrie Thunder 
Tie it up there. It is Ty Petrie. With the Pinocchio, Stan Peters. Get the lead right back. Second of the night for Shea Reynolds. 3-2 stabs through 40. Some work to do for the Thunder. 18-15. Shot still fairly even in favor of Airdrie. But Airdrie starts with Tristan Paquette in the penalty box. They are down at five on four. They will go with Sears, Higgins, Saylor, and the Stamps will on the power play, still with a minute 50 plus remaining. And now here's Spencer firing at the length of the ice. Good start to the PK here for Airdrie. Braden Klesson's up to Nate Higgins, and here come the Stampeders. Three wide. Higgins takes a round. Higgins now puts this one in behind the net for Sears. Shot. Save off the mask of Jackson Little, but able to get this one out. Here is Matt Thompson. Thompson knocked off the puck neatly by Austin Ancy on Jordan Sears. Starts out through center here. Sears over to Jacob Saylor. Saylor, Higgins, high slot, shoot, scores! Nate Higgins, what a shot! Upstairs on Jackson Little. It's 4-2 for the Stamps. Nate Higgins unleashed a snapper from the slot. And it's an absolute beauty. He's a trailer, and Nate Higgins, who's done that so many times in the Heritage League, makes no mistake there. Beats Little up, up over the glove hand. And here in the third period, the Pinocchio Stampeders hold a two-goal lead, 58 seconds in. Sailor and Sears on the assist. It's a power play goal. For Nate Higgins, here come the, the Thunder, trying to get it right back though. Wenzel knocked off the puck, little seven on seven crime, is, but the Thunder will get it right back. Plessons ties done up, done, tries to go to the net, but he got it knocked off his stick, and now here comes Higgins, back the other way for Padoka. Higgins, hard hit on the far side by Wenzel, and now here comes Sears. Sears right in the slot, Sailor shoots a great blocker, save made by Little. And now Saylor out of the corner, out front looking for Reynolds. Reynolds, who already has two, looking for the Hattie. Couldn't get it to settle down. Murray, long shot blocked away there by Jeff Drott. Gathered here in the offensive zone by Airdrie. Done now. Murray shoots. Glove Sam Drott. Drott holds on. Jackson Little. Big save here. That might have been Curtin's. For the Airdrie Thunder, facing some adversity here. Down a couple in their own building. Here in the third period to the Padoka. Stan Peters, Lagrandier back to the line. Jensen shoots through traffic. Drott makes the save and holds on. Jeff Drott and the Padoka Stan Peters find themselves dead last in the North Division. So rather important to pick up points uh, of any kind for the Padoka Stampeders. I'm sure coming into this one, they would have taken any kind of points, but uh, three points for a regulation win over Airdrie would have been, would be huge. It's a huge save by Jeff Drott. Now here comes Shea Reynolds over the line near side to Bullock. It will come, but he couldn't get the shot away. Reynolds again. Reynolds shoots, got it right back. Shot through traffic. That was a great save by Little again, this time on Kelly. Tyler McCary, he had the great opportunity to get the Thunder the lead, the, uh, to cut the lead in half. But a great save and another great save at the other end by Little. Little holds on, so we're going to draw deep in Thunder territory. Is Now it's going to be gathered here by Ryland Plog Crow. Plog Crow to Kirkland Spencer. Spencer over to Ty Petrie. Petrie Lagrandier. Lagrandier shoots it off the mask. Of oh, Petrie got it back. Lagrandier got it back and put it through the crease. I'm not sure how that went wide. And now Caden Gatz over the line. Gatz, he's still with it. In the corner, Gatz tied up and knocked off the puck. Ben Ord, Ord to Ryland Plot Crow. Plot Crow over the line with speed. Plot Crow to the middle, but he lost control of it. Paquette got it back to Spencer. Campbell shoots, scores! Campbell got run over as he let it go, but he's still able to bury it. Brett Campbell, a huge goal for the Thunder here. Still plenty of time to go 
It's now 4-3 Pinoca as Brett Campbell cuts the Stampeder lead in half. Campbell came off the bench late and nobody picked him up and he picks a corner on Jeff Drott and makes no mistake. Thirteen fifty-one to play. Still plenty of hockey game left here. The Padoka Stan Peters control off the draw at center. James Lee spins away there in the corner. Got it over to the near side. Jordan Jacoby and now Sullivan lost it. One timer out front. Rebound McDonald. Oh, what a stop by Trot. Came across and got there in time. Holds on. Jordan McDonald looking to tie the hockey game. Drawn his other plans. 13.09 to go in the third. Draw one by the Thunder. Spencer now to Paquette. Paquette with one already. Now over to Pick. Now over to McDonald. A great save by Drawn again. Jordan McDonald. Two glorious opportunities on this shift, but has been denied both times by Jeff Drawn. Brett Campbell, McDonald, and Paquette. Still out there for Airdrie. McDonald won it cleanly. Back to the line. Tip. Rebound. Oh, what a stop by Drott. He got it with the right pad. Jordan McDonald could have had a hat trick on this shift alone. And now here comes Harder. Shoots. Saved by Little. Oh, my goodness. What a stop by Jeff Drott. Offside, Giroux. EA Sports, show us a replay of that. You better. Yeah, we'll get one. Oh, my word. What a stop by Jeff Drott. Came across with the right pad, just gets there, kicks it out. And Jeff Drott, three times on that shift alone, robbing Jordan McDonald blind. And this game is still 4-3, Stamp Peters. There's Clay Guthrie in the corner. Trying to go to work in the offensive zone. Pinoca keep this high-powered Airdrie offense out of the, their own zone. But now here's Giroux. Giroux can't center that. He's got it back. Thompson, high slot, shoots. Drop the save. He made it with the glove. And he holds on. Matt Thompson, the big man. Trying to tie the hockey game back up for the Thunder. Bit of a journeyman in this league. Bit of a journeyman his whole career. Played his minor hockey in Lethbridge. Played in Strathmore, ended up in Airdrie. And now back to the line, Jensen McConnell, far side! Great save by Drawn on the league's leading scorer. This one will come out front to Casey Straub. Now to Jordan Sears. Sears over the line, far side. Sears looking for a man. Can't find one, Sears still. Sears right on front, backhander, stopped by Little. 9.42 to go in the third period. Face off to the left side here of Jackson Little. And this is won by the Stampeders. Taylor near side. Right back to Sailor. He scores. Oh, what a play by the Pinocchio Stampeders. Tic tac toe, and it's in the back of the net. Jacob Sailor from Jordan Sears and Braden Glassens. It's 5 3 for Pinocchio. Look at this. Little bumper play and uncorking an absolute bullet off the post and in his sailor. Under half a period to go, and Pinocchio has restored a two goal advantage. Here come the Airdrie Thunder right in. Is it's Dunn who had it in the slot? Take it away though by his fellow number 27, Brandon Brockerville. Brockerville tripped up. And another Pinocchio power play upcoming. No power plays thus far for the Airdrie Thunder in this one. Michael Dubois is going to go for tripping here on Brockerville. Face off. Left side here of Little. One cleanly by the Thunder. And they will get this one out. 
2019 Heritage Junior Hockey League champions on the ropes in their own building against the Pinocchio Stampeders. Gats drives wide. Gats the near side looking there for Jordan Jacoby. Jacoby puts this in the corner for Gats. Jacoby up top strong. Now Caden Gats. He's got a chance. Forehand, backhand. A little move back to the forehand. Poked off his stick. Through traffic. A shot from Bullock gets blocked by his own teammate. And now Luke Jensen. He's going to get this one. Out of the zone, it'll go to the bench. Fortunately for him, not into the crowd. Would have been a five on three. Still a Baco for a power play time remaining for the Pinocchio Stampeders. Face off right side of Little. This is going to be one and controlled by the Stamps. Cooper Page blings this one the length of the ice as the B Lightning get it right. The Lightning Thunder. That's close. Get it right back. Here come the Pinocchio Stampeders. Right in front of Chance. Save the rebound. Jordan Jacoby bagging away side of the net. Jacoby in the corner. Kelly now. He's at the half wall. Kelly's got a right back slot. Kelly shot it blocked. But it comes to Gats instead. Chance to get this out for Pino for Airdrie. They can't. Gats shoots it through a crowd. Great save, Little. Cleared again, but not uh, out. It will go instead into their own bench. Off the stick of... Kirkland Spencer, or sorry, Ben Ord. So this faceoff will stay in deep in the number one unit out there for the Pinocchio Stampeders, Higgins, Sears, and Sailor. Draw one by the uh, Thunder here, tied up in down low by Zach Giroux. Giroux will clear, and that will do it. As the power play has come to an end for the Stamps, but they still hold a one goal advantage. Uh, sorry, a two-goal advantage here in the third. Hard hit on the near side, Sailor. He got popped hard by Ty Petrie. Petrie taking off the puck. Jordan Sears in his own zone. Puts us in behind the net for Austin Anseon. Five and a half to play here. Still two goals separate these teams. Five, three, four, Pinocchio. He again shoots it. Good stop by Little Sailor in tight. Right up front of one-timer driven wide. Now over to Brett Lagrandier. Lagrandier got it to Petrie. Petrie to Plot Crow. Pinocchio still not out of this one. They could score in quick succession. Shot from the line. Wenzel. Plot Crow knocked off the puck. Here comes Brendan Scott the other way. Scott takes this in. Scott looking to the net. It comes for Little. But he keeps that one out. As that was a one-timer that got blocked. Came right to Little. Now here's Plot Crow. Plot Crow in for the Thunder. Trying to center that one. Neatly taken away by Dakota Sullivan. Back and forth we go. Clay Guthrie for Pinocchio now. Guthrie over the line. Knocked off the puck. Ty McCary. Now to Brett Campbell. 3.20 to go here in the third. Right to Paquette. Poked away. Campbell. Oh, what a stop by Drawn. Brett Campbell nearly got the right. The Thunder back to within one, one again. And now we're to the far side. Paquette. McDonald shoots. Another stop by Drawn on Jordan McDonald. Unbelievable. Here's Campbell. Campbell looking for McDonald out front. Campbell behind the goal. Two minutes to go in regulation. Pino Airdrie down by a couple. Paquette, McDonald in the corner. McDonald out front looking for Campbell. Knocked away by Shea Reynolds. We'll keep an eye on Jackson Little. And this one is on the stick of Shea Reynolds. He's got a pair tonight. Here comes Reynolds over the line. He knocked off the puck neatly by Ben Ord. Comes right to Reynolds, now to Guthrie, Guthrie near side, Kelly scores! Pinocchio is going to win this one in upset fashion. Jonathan Kelly from Clay Guthrie and Shea Reynolds, it is 6-3 Pinocchio. So whoever had uh, the Pinocchio Stampeders being the ones to snap, the Airdrie Thunder win streak. Congratulations, you were the only one on earth. But you nailed it. It is 6-3 Pinocchio. We are in the final minute. I don't know if Airdrie could score in a clip of three goals a minute. They, actually, they probably could. But uh, still uh, willing to say this thing's over. Here's Jonathan Kelly. Knocked off the puck in deep. Here's Michael Dubois. Dubois got this up to Braden Dunn. Dunn will come in on the attack. This will come to McConnell. McConnell to Dunn couldn't get a shot away. And now Kelly comes back the other way. 
Jonathan Kelly and his boys going to upset the, the Airdrie Thunder here in their own building as Dunn starts in through uh, the offensive zone. A shot that goes off the shoulder and in behind the net of Jeff Rod. Kieran Bullock will put this up the far side. So these two clubs will next be in action on Sunday. Final seconds going to come off. Airdrie going to host Mountain View. Pinoca at three hills. Hard hit on the far side. Wenzel knocked off the puck. Comes to Dubois. That will do it. The Pinoca Stampeders win it in Airdrie. Nobody had that prediction. But the Stamps do indeed prevail. 6-3 th is the final. Jeff Drott, his season debut is tremendous. And backstops his boys to a 6-3 victory. And the Airdrie Thunder have their streak snapped at four victories. They are now 3-2-1-0. The Padoka Stampeders pick up regulation victory. Number one on the season. They are now 1-3-1-0. As here you see some highlights. Jackson, a little no chance on that one. As this one ends up the winner. And it's a beauty. Nate Higgins upstairs. 6-3, the final. Get you a look at the three stars. Tristan Paquette, goal and an assist. He is your third star in this one as uh, this ended up being a, a goal that got the Thunder back to within one. Thought maybe that uh, she was going to be a hockey game. Uh, Jason Wenzel is your second star. Two of the three stars and a 6-3 loss. That's pretty bold. First star is Shea Reynolds. Two goals and an assist. Okay. It's a little better. <laughs> All righty. I was thinking that's a pretty uh, homer three stars. Still it is. But at least we got a first star for Podoka. Jeff Drott not considered, which is... Uh, uh, he's over 900 save percentage. That's pretty good. I think he should have been. Made some big saves. I mean, the third period. Let's go look at the shots in the third. That wasn't that lopsided. It's still 16 to 12. 16 shots in a period. And denies all but one. I would fourth star of the game. Chef Drott turning in 31 stops. Or uh, yeah, 31 stops. Pretty good in the victory for the Pinocchio Stampeders. I'm sure Jeff Drott will have earned himself the start in three hills on Sunday. So, again, uh, coming up a little later on, we'll have the Statler Lightning taking on the Sylvan Lake Wranglers, that one in Sylvan Lake. And uh, as mentioned, the Airdrie Thunder here on Sunday in Airdrie taking on the Mountain View Colts and the Pinocchio Stampeders at Three Hills taking on the Thrashers. Tomorrow's schedule, we'll actually talk about that after the next day. Thanks for tuning in. It was a lot of fun. Oh, wait, we didn't do uh, the scoring summary. Reynolds scores first, 216 in from Casey Straub and Jonathan Kelly. And then it is Tristan Paquette. I think I called him Jordan McDonald all game. I might that it might his name might be Jacob. But again, you create 300 players and names, I mean, what are names? What's in a name? If you get one name right, that's 50%. That's a pass, baby. Uh, McDonald wins out on the assist on the Paquette goal. That ties it up. But the Ryan Harder at 10:51 makes a 2-1 stamps from Brendan Scott and Brent, uh, Braden Clessens. Then at Ty Petrie, uh, 4-12, Ty Petrie gets the Thunder back even from Kirkland Spencer and Jason Wenzel. Shea Reynolds makes it 3-2 stamps at 8:08 from Brandon Brockerville and Caden Gatz. Nate Higgins power play goal 58 seconds into the third from Jacob Saylor and Jordan Sears uh, give us the stamps a couple of goal lead and then Airdrie gets it back makes the one goal game Brett Campbell from Kirkland Spencer and Tristan Paquette but a uh, couple of goals from the stamps in late in uh, the third period after that Jacob Saylor Jordan Sears Braden Clessons at 10:33, then Jonathan Kelly in the final minute from Clay Guthrie and Shea Reynolds that wraps this thing at 6-3 the final thanks for tuning in we'll talk to you later tonight 7 p.m. Stetler at Sylvan Lake